Hey guys, how you doing? Dan here, and it is great to see you all again. Long time no see, I know. Don't worry guys, there will be more drone videos coming very, very soon. I've just been busy trying to find time to actually film them and edit them along with work as well. And also me and my partner are expecting our first baby who's going to be with us very shortly. So we've just been getting everything ready for him arriving too. So it's been a very, very, very busy few weeks and even a couple of months at that. Um, but today I want to do a very quick video. This time we're going to be back in Adobe Premiere Pro, one of my favourite pieces of software. And guys, I am so excited what this feature is now in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's existed in the Adobe space for quite some time now. And it's what I'm on about is the remix tool from Adobe Audition. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, one of my very first videos um, was how to use this tool in Adobe Audition. It was a long, long time ago. I think I shot it around Christmas last year. I would say make sure to check that video out, but as it's in Premiere now, I don't need to. You can watch this one instead. So first of all, guys, what even is the Audio Remix tool? Well, it's a really useful tool to help you change the length of music to help it fit your edits better. So you might find a track online which you absolutely love, but it's only 45 seconds long, but your actual edit is a minute long. So using the Remix tool, it will help you make that track one minute long and it'll do it in a really high quality way and you can also do it the other way around you might have a track which is three minutes long but your actual edit is only 45 seconds so you can use the remix tool to properly cut your track down and it will keep the start and the end of the song and just trim down the middle bit but again it will do it in a really really high quality way where people probably won't even realize that an edit has been made so it's a super super useful tool now it was great having it in adobe audition but you had to open audition you had to import the track, you had to make a new session, you had to apply the remix, you had to punch in all your settings, you had to then listen to the remix to make sure it was okay. Is it the right length now? Is it too short? Is it too long? Is it just right? Then you had to export it from Adobe Audition and then bring it back into Premiere where you had to put it onto the timeline, marry it up, and hopefully it would work. On some occasions, you'd then have to go back to Audition, do the same thing and kind of make it a little bit longer, a bit shorter, just to make it fit in a little bit of a better way but now you can do it all in Premiere. So even though all of that was a fairly automated process within Audition, you're still gonna be saving so much time keeping it all within Adobe Premiere. So in this video, guys, I want to show you how to do it in Adobe Premiere. It is only on the Premiere Pro beta at the moment, so I'm sure in a couple of months time, it will appear on the normal version of Premiere. But if you do have the beta version, this is definitely something to check out with your next edit. Before I jump into Premiere Pro, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below what your favorite editing software is. Is it Final Cut Pro X? Is it DaVinci Resolve? Is it Premiere Pro or another one which I haven't even mentioned? But leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys are editing on. And guys, if you do like this video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. That would be absolutely amazing. Thank you guys. But let's get straight into Premiere Pro beta and we'll have a look at the new remix tool in there. So guys, I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro now and this is one of my older edits. This is off St. Peter's Square in Manchester. It's a great area if you've never been there before. Um, but I shot this with the drone and my Canon R6 just after one of the first lockdowns. It was like in that kind of transition between the two, but St. Peter's Square was extremely quiet so I could get the drone up in the sky. Here is my edit and here is the song I want to put into the edit. So as a quick side note, this song is from Epidemic Sounds. If you haven't checked out this website before and you do make videos, it is a really great website. It's got a lot of sound effects on there. It's got so much music on there and so many different genres as well. So if you are making YouTube videos or videos for other social media, it's definitely a site to check out. And all of these sound effects and music files are included in one monthly subscription, which is absolutely amazing. In. As I was saying, if you haven't checked out this website before, there is a free 30-day trial down in the description below. Also, leave a comment down below with what you guys think of Epidemic Sounds. Now, this is the problem I was explaining earlier on. So I've got an edit which is one minute long. It's a bit less actually. It's uh, 58 seconds and 19 frames. And my song is actually three minutes 12. So I could do that old way of doing things where I, you know, go in, jump in, select little bits of a song I want to keep and merge it together. But that's very time consuming and you've also got to be extremely accurate for it to work properly. So your workspace might look a little bit different, but for this to work properly, we need to find the essential sound window. Now mine's just down here and we've got this window here. If you can't find it somewhere hidden on your Premiere workspace, if you just got a window at the top and drop down to essential sound 
and there we go. I'm just going to pop this over here so we can see it a little bit bigger. There we go. So first things first, we're going to click on the music and on the track what we want to alter the duration of. We're just going to hit music here and then we've got the duration button here. So you just turn it on here and then you're going to have a choice between remix or stretch. Now, as you can see here, we've got a remix progress bar. It happens fairly quickly. That just did a three minute track in a very little amount of time, which is again, absolutely perfect for saving time when we come to doing our edits. And um, Remix is gonna make the track shorter, Stretch is going to make the track longer. On here, on the target duration, we've got 00, zero which is hours, then we've got 03, which is minutes, then we've got 12, which is the seconds, and finally we've got the 16, which is frames. So for this, we don't need any minutes or hours, so that's gonna be 00, zero and then we're gonna have 59 seconds. And, oh, actually no, let's just do one minute just to make life easier. There we go, so we've got a minute here. Now this next bit here says the target duration is gonna be one minute plus or minus five seconds, which can be a bit of a pain if you want your track to be a certain amount of time. So once you hit enter on the target duration, it's going to then do the remix. Now you can see we've got some little arrows down here, which I'll come on to in just a sec. Um, but as you can see here, the remix duration is actually one minute, 14 seconds. So it's not, it's not done a particularly great job there, but it's what we can do here now is we're gonna knock it a little bit lower. So we'll try 50 seconds. See, that's one minute free, so we definitely get in there. And then I'm gonna try 45. So it's a little bit of trial and error now. There we go, we've got 58, and let's try 49. So we're kind of in the middle of the two there. In Adobe Audition, you can do the exact duration. It will work a little bit harder to find that perfect timing. But in Premiere, we're a little bit more limited. But that's okay, because the track's only a little bit longer than our edit, and it's a very quiet bit of the track anyway. So I will just drag that along and then fade this audio out. Let's just zoom in. Uh, oops, what are we doing? And then default transition, which is great. Let's zoom out again. But now we've got a track which fits our edit in a much better way. We've also got these arrows, as I mentioned earlier on. So these are actually the cuts in the song. So as you play over it, That's now picking different bits from the song and merging them together in a very high quality way. You can't even tell there's cuts there and beats changing and fades. It's working so well. If you do want to change these cuts down here, if you change the edit length, so if you change it to short, you're gonna have lots of little edits like this. So yeah, I weren't too fond of that particular one, so we'll maybe have slightly longer edits. There we go, so we've got lots of long sections now rather than lots of little tiny ones. There we go, that sounds quite good as well. So we've also got the feature slider where you've got timber or harmonics, and this is gonna change whereabouts in the song the cuts are gonna be made. If you want it to use the slightly more harmonic parts of the song for the transition and the cuts, move it to the right. So as you can see, if we move this slider to the right now, it's gonna change these cuts down here to something a little bit different. Not too different, but it just gives you a slight variation on what you're creating. So if you have got your duration down to your length and you still want to alter it and tweak it, just to get a slightly different version of the edit, you can do this. It's almost like a seed slider on you know, Minecraft or other games like that, but it does help just kind of mix it up a little bit and you can get it exactly right for your edits. But guys, that's pretty much it for the Remix tool. Again, I'm just so happy it's in Adobe Premiere now and I'm sure it will be in the main version very, very shortly. If you do want to see more videos in Adobe Premiere, please leave a comment down below. There is so many new features in Premiere now and I would love to go over all of them. Obviously, there's not enough time in the world to do that. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to know anything in particular about Premiere, please do let me know. But guys, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for getting this far. I really do appreciate it and I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.